Hi, I'm Hank Green. In 2012, I created the YouTube channel SciShow to explore all the cool science in the universe. Since then, our team has made three more channels, SciShow Space, SciShow Kids, and in 2017, a new channel called SciShow Psych. It's all about psychology and exploring the human mind. Our brains can do weird things sometimes, which is why psychology is such an interesting field. Like, take this thing called the Stroop Color and Word Test. It was invented by a guy named J. Ridley Stroop troop in the 1930s, and it seems pretty easy. Just look at a list of words and say what color of ink the word is printed in. It turns out, though, it's not that simple. Let's try it. For this activity, you'll need the three color chase cards that came with your kit. One of them is on the back of your vision blind spot card. You might want to get a stopwatch or a friend to compete with. First, you take out your first card. It should have a bunch of words on it written in black ink. Read the words as fast as you can, and use a stopwatch to time how long it takes. Red, yellow, black, blue, orange, pink, green, red, purple, green, yellow, blue, black, orange, green, pink, blue, orange, purple, red, blue, black, pink, green, yellow, orange, red, green, blue, black, yellow, pink, orange, red, green, red, yellow, pink, black, yellow, green, blue, purple, orange, green, red, pink, blue, yellow, black, blue, red, orange, red, blue, green, Green, purple, black, red. 21 seconds. Next, flip that card over, and then say the color of each of the colors that you see in order that you see them. And time yourself again. Red, yellow, black, blue, orange, pink, green, red, purple, green, yellow, blue, black, orange, green, pink, blue, orange, purple, red, blue, black, pink, green, yellow, orange, red, green, blue, black, yellow, pink, orange, red, green, red, yellow, pink, black, yellow, green, blue, purple, orange, green, red, pink, black, yellow, black, blue, red, orange, red, uh, blue, green, green, that's purple, black, and red. Wow, that's hard. 39 seconds. And finally, you have your third card. This time, your challenge is to say the color the word is printed in, but not the word itself. Purple, orange, blue, red, black, green, purple, yellow, red, pink, brown, black, red, green, orange, brown, yellow, green, black, red, yellow, brown, huh, orange, pink, blue, bzz, purple, blue, green, red, <sighs> orange, blue, yellow. 38 seconds, except there's half as many words on this one as there are colors on this one. So really twice as long. Why do you think it was so much harder than the other cards? Write down a prediction, then I'll tell you the answer. Right now, scientists have a few ideas about why the Stroop color and word test is so hard. One guess is that you can recognize the words faster than you can say the colors, so your brain gets confused. The other idea says that this activity is hard because naming the colors takes more attention than reading the words. These two ideas are a little different, but basically, they say that it's hard to get your brain to stop paying attention to things, even when you want to. If you want to learn more, you can watch our video from SciShow Psych about this test. And if you want to try and get better at it, you can keep watching this video. Now that you know how the Stroop test works, see if you can find ways to get better at it. You could try turning the card upside down, practicing a bunch, or even making your own version of the test using made-up words instead of real ones. Try to keep in mind why scientists think this test is so hard. How could that help you come up with an easier version of the test? In this situation, you are your own experiment. Good luck.